Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Marvin again, back with another music reaction. This time, actually music. And also this time, um, I'm actually going to edit the video. <laughs> uh, I realized in the uh, video I posted earlier today, I was probably in a little bit of a rush to put it up for some reason. I don't know why. And um, I meant to edit out some stuff and it made it in the video anyway. So it is what it is. <laughs> I'm not going to take it down and re-edit it or anything like that. But uh, shout out to Sir Austin for, uh, oops, get my camera right. Shout out to Sir Austin, at least for um, pointing that out to me, man. I appreciate you. So at any rate, uh, this next song right here is by Darren Gray. Uh, the name of the song is Obscure. Um, this song is actually a uh, request that I got through Facebook. Uh, one of the homies on the hit me up, uh, Mr. Gray. Thank you for the suggestion. And um, just to be transparent, I've heard of the band before. I have no one song that they've done before. If y'all are wondering <laughs> how I know about them, because they had a song called... Um, I forget the name of the song. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'll probably look that song up, but I might do them do that song next. So who, we'll see. But um, I wanted to check out this Darren Gray video and see what it's about. Um, I don't know much about the band other than I know that they are a, a Japanese metal band and um, the one song that I've heard before. And that's about it. So we'll, we'll, it, this should be cool. This, this should be interesting. Kind of get me out of my headspace a little bit and hear some different things. So before I start, two things. Um, one, um, I do pause my videos a lot, so if you're not a fan of pausing or that sort of thing, this might not be for you, uh, mainly because I like to kind of throw my thoughts in as they come at me and um, give me a chance to pause and um, react in, in real time. And then secondly, um, like, share, comment, all that good stuff. Put your um, thoughts below. If you like this band, you want to hear more of them, let me know. If you want to hear some other genres of music, that's fine. I'm, I'm up for that too. So uh, without further ado... Let's check out Darren Gray. What the hell is that? <laughs> Pause right there for a second. Um, transparency, yo. For myself, I like Japanese horror and anime movies and real life movies. You know what I'm saying? Like Gen On and uh, The Ring and all that stuff. So when I see this, that's the first thing that pops ahead. Uh, second, what the hell was that? <laughs> the visuals off the top already have me like, what the hell is that? But that's okay. Um, I, I watched some of this stuff before, so it's all good. It didn't like make me go, oh, God. Like, sorry. <laughs> Maybe I should be like, oh, God. But I'm good. But uh, anyway, let's keep going. Let's keep going. My man's praying. Okay. Pause right there for a second. My man got a devil harem, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, So the masks I know are like demon masks. Um, obviously, they're doing the rest of this just for shock factor, you know what I'm saying? Stuff coming out your mouth and whatever questionable substance that was on the ground. And you got demon girls all over here. Um, and that's one thing I, I appreciated with Japanese culture, at least for as far as like the, the devil looks or the evil stuff. They're not afraid of just saying, hey, like if you're in hell or whatever, you might not have some clothes on. <laughs> like having clothes is a luxury in life. You know what I'm saying? If you're in hell, you might not have that luxury, uh, depending on what you're in hell for or purgatory, whatever it is you believe in. So I'm not even worried about that. You know what I'm saying? Um, other little piece too, it's like, um, I forget the show. I think it's called Garo or something like that. Um, it's, uh, uh, I forget the Japanese word for it. But anyway, it's, um, one of those kind of the common writer -y kind of show, but it's like a more of an adult theme one. And a lot of the demons are saying things. They're just like topless women or whatever. So it is what it is. But I do like that. You know what I'm saying? I like the the scary aspect they're trying to throw in here. My man right here with the demon mask is kind of freaking me out. So that's kind of dope. And he's got like a chastity belt or I don't know, whatever it is demons do. 
Anyway, let's go. Okay, so they just kind of making fun of the whole like harem thing. I see what they're doing in the visuals. You know what I'm saying? It's wild. <laughs> they're wilding out. Uh, let me see if I can get into these lyrics a little bit, though. So hold on. I'm going to get into these lyrics. Let me go back and take a peek. <laughs> My man's hitting the growl in there. You know what I'm saying? The thing that people don't realize is that guttural sound is hard to do. It really is. Like, to do it well, you know what I'm saying, and do it on command like that. Like, it's, it really does take some vocal talent. So people think it's, like, something that's not planned or whatever, or I don't know what the people's expectations are. But in real, like, singing tone and stuff like that, it's really hard to pull off. Um, and the dude can sing. Like, honestly, if you listen to the vocals and what he's doing and his pitches and stuff, like, they're not bad at all. Like, he's got good tone. He, you can tell he's got a lot of, like, um, just decent press support and stuff like that. He's not, like, overdoing his vocals, per se. But when he does the growling part, like, that's where the vocal, that's where the um, the power comes in. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I like that. You know what I'm saying? And people, like, sometimes they'll look over that aspect of, of this kind of genre of music. It's like, yo. They're still singing. It still takes talent. It still takes everything. And the band is on time. You know what I'm saying? The band is still good. You know what I'm saying? It's, they they do anything. think it's nothing too crazy that I've not, not heard before, haven't heard before. But you know what I'm saying? It's still good. So so far. Anyway, let me rewind it back. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna rewind it back just a little bit. Yeah, this stuff I kind of skipped over because I'm like, okay, we got demons, we got a harem, you know, orgy thing or whatever, and we got a robot with a head cut off with like. I don't know. These are different aspects of something. Let me check these bowls. Filth brings the full moon of inflammation and nighttime vomit begins. So I wonder if he's talking about like um, summoning something or conjuring something or if he's just talking about insecurities um, something along those lines, you know what I'm saying? Filth brings the full moon you know what I'm saying? So maybe it's on some some of that time and stuff, you know which is, sometimes it's like that. <laughs> so let's go. You got to pray some more on that, buddy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I didn't mean to pause right here, but whatever. Uh, yo, like that's what I was talking about uh, with the singing. You know what I'm saying? Just to go back to his voice real quick. Like the dude was singing right there, and he was hitting them notes flawless. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't let him don't let him fool you because they can sing. They can really sing and do their thing. You know what I'm saying? But obviously they're more for the visual shock value. You know what I'm saying? Of what's going on and some of that. You know, whatever taboo stuff, however you want to say it. Well, she's she's still far. I did just realize what he was doing in the video. <laughs> they bug it out in these visuals right here. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like some hentai type craziness. You know what I'm saying? Like, but whatever. Like, that's the difference, though. I can separate fact from fiction. Like, this is obviously over the top shock value type stuff. That's fine. They're wilding out in here. <laughs> Definitely dope for Halloween. My man's mouth open looked like the Predator or something. <laughs> they got, oh, I forgot they got body. So they're like in a morgue with body bags. And What is this song talking about? 
for the secret of their hidden premature births. Oh my lord. <laughs> She's like crazy. She's going crazy right there. Pick it off a tree. I got it. So this is like sacrificing babies and going wild or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, let me take let me tell y'all something about myself too. Um, back in the day, um, there's an art I used to, I, shoot, I still listen to it, dude named Brother Lynch Hung, right? Um, and y'all, some of y'all might know about him, some of y'all may not, but he's like strange, he currently, well, he was signed to, um, Strange Music and made sick music and all that, but he made, like, horror color rap a thing, you know what I'm saying, where they're talking about stuff like this, you know what I'm saying, doing all kind of foul, wild stuff, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying, there's creativity behind even that, like, horror movies, that genre of music, you know, crazy visual stuff like that. It still takes creativity, you know, and if you look past the surface of it, you can see the creativeness in that even, you know, even though it's like shock value stuff, there's still people behind the scenes that make that stuff happen. Like even this right here, like to make that effect and make it look crazy, like I guarantee what this is, it's probably on a Florida McDonald's with some kind of like shampoo and conditioner or something crazy. And they probably put some little what flakes into it and looks like craziness. But I guarantee that's probably the most benign mix of stuff on the floor that you could probably make <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i get it you know what I'm saying? it looks nasty or whatever but at the same time like if you're into that kind of stuff and you look at it you're like oh man that ain't really nothing so anyway i look at stuff like that i'm sorry like this is the way my brain works sometimes you know it does look gross here I, don't, I didn't mean to pause it right there but it is what it is so <laughs> let's go whoa whoa Wow. Visuals crazy. <laughs> All right. Let me pause that again right there, man. So anyway, that was Darren Gray Obscure. I can definitely tell you that's obscure. What the hell was that? <laughs> Even though I get it, you know what I'm saying? And honestly, this is the time of year for stuff like this, where it's like some creepy, like, I don't know what the heck, especially when you see like uh, the Japanese versions of it or other cultures versions of uh, quote unquote scary things. You know what I'm saying? I like it. You know what I'm saying? Just because it's it's creative and it's still like, it's, an, a, it's a form of um, artistic expression. Now, you don't have to like it. You don't have to watch it. You don't have to endorse it. None of that. I get it. You know what I'm saying? Because trust me, I'm not just pulling this up just because. But at the same time, it's like, I still look at it and I, and I can objectively break it down and be like, all right, it's a piece of art. You know what I'm saying? However you want to take it. And obviously there's some some context in here too. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, talking about sacrificing things or whatever, maybe bringing up some evil spirits or Lord knows what, and they experimenting and chopping up people on the table and doing experiments on folks and stuff. Like, it's wild. <laughs> it really is wild. But the, here's the thing. A lot of that stuff, for real, 
a lot of that stuff for real can be rooted in fact. You know what I'm saying? And that's the scary part. Not this stuff right here, not the visual, whatever, like concocted stuff. It's the fact that real people out here in the real world right now might believe in some of that stuff and take that stuff to the next level. You know what I'm saying? And we might not ever hear about it, but we may hear about it in the worst way too. So like, you know, you never know like what the heck people are thinking, you know? <laughs> so anyway, shout out to my boy, Gray, uh, for, uh, uh, I can never say your first name right, bro. I'm, I'm not going to butcher it either. So anyway, check his channel out. I'm going to link his channel, um, in, in the description of this video. Cause he's also a, a artist too. So I want to plug his channel uh, and, um, also want to link this video in here too so in case y'all want to watch it unedited by yourself in your lonely time go ahead and do that <laughs> you know what I'm saying? it's not necessarily something i'm gonna do but i'm just saying if y'all want to watch it you'll have the unedited unmarvin version of this song behind it too so anyway speaking of that i'm out i'm gonna be up out of here man just uh thanks for rocking with me so far into the video hopefully you made it through it and didn't have to click it off um, I'm going to definitely put some not safe for work titles in here. You know what I'm saying? Just so you know what it is before you hit click, you know what I'm saying? And, and, uh, you know, hopefully don't get nobody in trouble or turn anybody off. Cause you know, if it is what it is, then hey. second thing, if you're looking up Darren Gray, you probably know what the video is going to be about anyway. So, Hey, maybe, <laughs> you know, Hey, you know what I'm saying? Don't be weird. Don't, don't worry. It's going to be okay. So at any rate, I'll check y'all in the next video. Peace. Take care of yourself. All right.